Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Prodrill project numbering system. The project numbering system's design is to bring all of your documents together, from lead management to project management to estimating to invoicing and change orders. All of your documents or all of your different aspects of any one given project will be based off of the new project number system. In this case, I've prepared an example in the lead pipeline. If we go here, we'll see this Dwight Schrute project has a project number of 001091. This is the base or the universal number for this project. Now I've set up some settings and I wanted mine to have P dash for my project. So I can see that this is the whole number is a, a project. This could be a business initials or this could be anything you want. And you can even have uh, some other settings that would put a suffix or a dash maybe 21 for 2021. All projects created in 2021 would have a dash 21 at the end. If you wanna create some stuff like that, I'll show you those settings in a moment. But before we do, I also wanted to show you how the change order and the estimate are also numbered. You can see the estimate based off of our settings are E dash 001091. Change order is CO-001091. And then every time you add a new change order, it's a dash one or a dash two or a dash three. This would be what we call an instance. So there's multiple instances of, of a change order. Um, so that's just how that numbering system is, is kind of laid out. Again, if I look for 1091, it pulls up Troop Farms, right? It pulls up that whole project. If I go to the Estimates and Invoices page and I look for 1091, Right here is um, the Shroot Project, the Dwight Shroot Project. Boom, it pulls this up and it shows us our estimate number right here. If I actually go in and, and open an invoice, you'll see that based off of our settings, um, it is INV-001091. So right here, 001091-1 for this invoice. So it's pretty straightforward there uh, to see how that's all tied together it just makes everything kind of one cohesive unit let me go ahead and show you the settings for this if you click on your initials and you click on the settings page from here you can access the drop down and go to projects to change your project number settings um, from any of the settings whether it's invoices estimates or change orders or projects you can set the universal number now you can only set it to a higher value and the reason for that is to prevent any duplicates from being created um, so if we were to set it to 2000 but actually we want to go back down to another number you can call our support line we can see if we can help you with that but the whole purpose is to prevent any duplicate number creation now based off of our settings here we actually have it set up so that it's a p-001091 uh, because I have it set to you know 2000 so it's kind of giving me an example here just under our next project and then dash 21 because I have a suffix of dash 21 if I take that off you can see in real time it shows you kind of how it's structured um, if I want this to be pro for project um, you know, it would be PRO dash in front of, and all future invoices or projects or estimates created would have that. Now, if I, again, I want P and I want, this is a, a delimiter, a delimiter, which could really just be called a separator. If I want my separator to be periods or underscores, I could change what we call the delimiter. And again, like if we wanted, it'd be da 21 for 2021 or whatever you might want to use the suffix uh, field for. And then every future one will just iterate to the next number. So 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, every time a project is created um, to get through this portion. Uh, the same goes with estimates and change orders. You can change the settings under the estimates tab for both estimates and change orders. The only difference is change orders, like I mentioned when we were looking at the change order for Dwight Schrute, it has a dash one at the end. So if there was a suffix on here, say it was 21, you know, for 2021, if we wanted that, uh, then there would also be a dash one, dash two, dash three at the very end, because there can be many change orders for a project. Um, the same for invoices. So it's just INV is what I have set here, but you can set it to anything you like. And 
you could have it automatically generate invoice numbers or even turn that off entirely. The same goes with projects. You could turn automatically generating project numbers off entirely if that's uh, not what you'd like to do. So anyway, that's a quick overview of the settings for project numbers and how it's supposed to tie everything together. We think it's a really great feature and that it's going to make your document control super easy within Prodrill. Let us know if you have any questions. Phone number is 844 776 5853 extension 702. Thanks for watching.